Hello everyone, I'm Zhao Chuang. Today we are going to learn about kangaroos. There are many types of kangaroos, like red kangaroos or wallabies. The one we are going to meet today is the red kangaroo, a famous one in Australia. When we think of Australia, the very first animal that appears in our mind is likely to be the kangaroo. Kangaroos are an iconic animal in that they are rare mammals that stand on their to hind legs and have a thick and long tail. Such a shape looks like a small dinosaur. Its head actually looks a bit like that of a mouse. That's why the Chinese call it a pouch mouse. But it has nothing to do with a mouse biologically. It belongs to a group called marsupials. This group is an ancient category of mammals, one that has been around since the age of dinosaurs. The earliest marsupials lived back in the early Cretaceous, even the Jurassic period. In present-day China there was an animal called Cenodelphus, which had certain characteristics of marsupials. A kangaroo is easily recognizable. First of all, it has a relatively small head, and two eyes with a good vision. These two eyes protrude outward. If we look at it from above, it looks a bit like a deer or a dog. It has two gigantic ears and has a keen hearing. It has a strong body with extremely developed muscles. If you have seen a close-up of kangaroo muscles, you will find it looks like a boxer with a muscular body. Its two forelegs are tiny, but they are also powerful with very sharp claws at the end. These claws are also its powerful weapons. The most iconic feature about kangaroos is a pair of thick hind legs. The end of their hind leg, the plantar side, and the calf are all long. When it moves fast, it can often jump several meters each step. It usually rests like this. When it jumps, this part of the metatarsus, which is a part of the sole, is off the ground. And it jumps on its toe tips. But when it rests, the whole of this part is lowered. As it rests, it uses its long tail like a seat to support itself. While jumping, this tail remains behind to balance its body. The kangaroo has a pouch. As an ancient mammal, the kangaroo is not advanced from the perspective of evolution. Babies of the more advanced mammals are well developed when they are born. But it is not the case for kangaroos. Kangaroo babies are in a not fully developed state and look very small. It can only keep the baby kangaroo, known as the joey, in its pouch to let the child continue to grow inside. When the joey grows to a certain size, it climbs out of the pouch. The joey shown here has grown to a certain age, so it can leave the pouch walking back and forth, but for a long period, it still needs the protection of the mother kangaroo. In addition, the kangaroo has thick hair. Although it lives in a hot place, its hair prevents the harm of the sun rays and keeps itself warm in the night. The type of kangaroo hair allows it to adapt to different environmental conditions. So, it is common to see kangaroos on the plain or in the rainforest. It is widely distributed in large numbers in Australia. The above description concludes our introduction to the red kangaroo.